Hey guys, what's up? One second. What's up guys? 1987 Mastermind here. Um, yeah, so let's talk about this PC thing. It just bothers me because it's like when PC guys talk about gay PC, all they could talk about is I got this frame rate, I got that frame rate, and I got this GPU, I got this fancy thing. Instead of talking about the actual game, like, you know, you come to your friend's house and you say, hey, yo, man, I check out this Witcher 3, it's awesome. You want to play this with me? Yeah, awesome. And this and this about the game, that and that about the game. You know? Instead, all they're talking about is parts, this and that. Look, no one's going to sit there, no one's going to deny um, that um, PC's got the better performance. PC has a lot of good advantages, the fact that you don't have to pay for... Um, online. You don't have to pay for that. And, you know, you're not restricted so much. Okay. I, you know, one's going to deny that. Again, but all the relevant exclusives, again, in my humble opinion, all the relevant exclusives are on the console. I noticed, and another thing that I really want to point out that I don't think, because this whole, this whole thing about PC elitists and all that stuff has been going around the internet, you know, what do PC guys talk about? If PC is so relevant and so unbelievable and so great, what do they always talk about? Every time I see a PC guy out there, I don't know, Black Bond, um, you know, Icy when he was around, all these guys who are PC gamers, what do they talk about? Console gaming. They, oh, they can't talk about PC. Why not? When was, when's the last time there was a relevant PC game out there? Oh, I see, Infinite Retro. Oh, I see him playing... There's old games that are like 10 years old, or games that are like 3 or 4 years old. Are there any new games, any new exclusives on PC that are so amazing that he talks about? Oh, we have so many games. Yeah, games that are like 20 years old. You tell 5 years old. That's what games you have. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. Then they tell us, we're cheap. Our console peasants. And then they go ahead and brag about how I paid $10 for The Witcher 3 when it's $60. So who's the cheap one now? You know, and then they could go ahead and say, we're cheap, we're the peasants, but yeah, we could pay $60 for a game, and they can't. So which one is it? You know what I mean? It's just so hypocritical. I mean, no one's going to down with You know, he talks about how hypocritical we are because we could go ahead and talk about um, frame rates and stuff like that and when it comes to the console games. But then, you know, when it comes to uh, PC... You can't, you know, oh, it's just about the games. No one cares about PC. I don't think any console gamer really says that. Every console gamer that I see on the internet doesn't deny, doesn't deny the fact that PC's got the better specs. No one's going to sit there and deny. Of course, if you're going to pay five thousand, four thousand dollars for a PC, or even a thousand dollars for a PC, of course you're going to get that. You know, you know, you know. Me, they claim that they're saving money, and then they call us cheap. And meanwhile, they're not saving money. They're not spending. Even if, think about it, even if we, you know, they don't have to pay for Xbox Live and, and PSN, okay? Let's say they don't own all those consoles, right? They still got to pay thousands every year. I see every year, Hard 8. Well, Hard 8's pretty fair when it comes to PC gaming. And all these other guys are pretty fair. Like Arsenal, he's the most fairest guy. I think he's the most non biased guy in the air. He's an awesome YouTuber, I think. I, I really enjoy his videos. You know, every year you see the GTX 680, then it's the GTX 980, 780, 980. It doesn't end. And these, these, how much is the GTX 980? I'm going to look it up right now. How much the GTX 980 is? See, one second, guys. Let's see. 600, and, 600 just for one part, for one year. And then they're going to tell us, Oh, we pay for fifty dollars for Xbox Live and PSN. Yeah, but we don't gotta spend every year six, seven hundred dollars uh, on a stupid part. Every year is another thing here. This way, you know, it's it's annoying. How many times I hear PC gamers saying that I can't run this game, I can't run that game, and, and the game doesn't run nearly as good. Uh, it doesn't run. It runs like crap. Like Mortal Kombat X online is supposed to be running like garbage. What do we really want to download it? Worry to have to deal with that? I have to upload this driver. Upload that driver. Do this. It's just for me. You know, I'm not going to be ignorant and deny that the co that that PC's got a lot of good benefits to it. Yeah, yeah, the graphics and everything. Probably the games look amazing. No one's going to deny that. But again, for my you know my purpose, you know, 
And the world, you can't deny this relevant. You can't deny. You're not going to get a, a God of War. You're not going to get an Uncharted. You're not going to get a Halo, okay, on, a con on PC. All the best exclusives are on console. There's no denying that, okay? Yes, the, the, the most relevant PC that you guys, get, I mean, exclusively have now are Portal, Portal 2, or those other games. That's not even exclusive anymore, but Half-Life. All these other games, PC supposed games, Half-Life 2, how old that? That's a 10-year-old game. What's the last time you had a real exclusive, a AAA exclusive that's relevant? When's the last time you had that on, on PC? Never. PC is for third party. That's what I say. PC is if you could afford it and you're tech savvy. I mean, technically, look, technically, I could have bought, got a gaming PC. I have a Mac. The Mac was $1,500. Technically, I could have used that money and bought a PC. But I don't, if PC gaming isn't for me, that's all. PC gaming is not for me. But I'm nothing against PC gaming. I just have against the people, you know, against PC gaming, you know, these elitists that think, oh, they're on this high level. All they can talk about are the parts. They could, they, What's the main point of gaming, right? It's the game, the actual games. Do you ever hear them talk about the actual games? Oh, we have this advantage and that advantage. Oh, well, but what about the games? You ever hear Infrared Retro talk about the games he's playing? Half those games are games that are 10 years old. What are the new releases? The, good, the great, amazing exclusives that PC has. What was the last relevant exclusive that came out on PC? Did you name it? No, you can't. Give me a break. PC is garbage in a lot of ways. PC's has a lot of, look, look, PC, let me put it this way, so not being misunderstood. PC's got its advantages and its disadvantages. PC's got its advantages because you're going to get amazing graphics and amazing performance. And if you have the patience, this is my opinion, coming from me. This is what I think. If you have the patience to sit there and do it, great. And if you have the money, then it's worth it. Because then you're going to get these games at amazing 60 frames and 4K resolution, all that stuff. Yeah, it's worth it. No one's going to sit there and deny that. But for some, the PC is not for everyone. So don't be called console peasants because we don't want a game on PC. That's what these people do. We're ruining gaming. Give me a freaking break. That's retarded. We're ruining gaming. Console gaming is, is the main focus of gaming. The E3, the biggest, the biggest conference that shows up all the company's latest AAA titles do you hear a freaking word about, is there a conference just for PC? You ever hear people talking about PC gaming? No. Mostly about Xbox, mostly about PlayStation, mostly about Sony. PC is relevant. Give me a break. I'm just so sick and tired of it. We're called peasants and losers because we don't want to game on PC. No, it's not, PC is not for everyone. Not everyone can game on PC. I could, have, I could afford a game on PC. I could have before gotten one, but it's not for me. I'm not a peasant because of that. We're not ruining games. You hear that? We're ruining gaming. We're destroying gaming. Console gaming needs to die. Get it out of here. I'm so sick of it already. All right, guys. It's just a real bit of a rant that I'm upset about. Hopefully, I get to get you guys a good review of uh, Bloodborne out there. All right, guys. Take care.